morning guys, Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips. Here I am back at good old Simcoe Diving. Simcoe Diving, see? Simcoe Diving. Dive Ontario. <laughs> anyway, yeah, great little dive store up here in Barrie. And I want to talk about something that people keep asking me. And you know, Alec, I'm just about to buy my first tank. I want to get a tank. I'm buying my first tank. And I don't know if I should buy steel or aluminum. Most of my friends have an aluminum tank, but some of my friends in the dive club are saying, oh, buy steel, buy steel. You want to buy a steel tank? Uh, you know, and I asked them why, and they said, oh, because steel is better. <laughs> or, uh, why? Well, aluminum is better. Which is the best? What should I buy? Well, first of all, there is no answer to which is best. I was like asking somebody, which is best, a Honda Civic or an F-150? It's a pickup truck for you people that don't know anything about Fords. Honda Civic or an F-150? <laughs> which is best? The F-150 is the best pickup, and the Honda Civic is the best car. Now, I didn't say that, but you know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to give you an example here. So, which is best? Aluminum steel. There is no best. Which is right for you is the question. What should you buy is the question. Okay, first of all, let me ask you a couple of questions. What kind of diving do you do? Do you do? <laughs> if you dive down south, if you dive in, in salt water, in warm water, salt water generally speaking, and you're diving mainly for recreational purposes, meaning for fun, for photography, maybe spear fishing, all of the normal widely recognized aspects of scuba diving, then the, the answer is really very simple, aluminum. Get an aluminum tank. There's several reasons for that. Uh, first of all, it is the standard tank, certainly across North America, from the Arctic to South America. It is the standard tank almost worldwide. So no matter where you go, you can always get parts, valves, uh, visual, hydrostatic tests, fills, there's no problem. It's no, nobody's going to in the dive store is going to look at you, what is that? It's not going to happen. It does the standard tank worldwide. That's a, that's a, that's a reason. Uh, secondly, certainly if you're diving in salt water, warm water or salt water, it's corrosion free, largely. You can still ruin a, an aluminum tank, but I'll leave that for another topic. Uh, uh, but an aluminum tank requires less care. Give it a quick rinse, take it home. Steel tanks, uh, not so much. Steel tanks, you have to be very, very careful with them. Usually steel tanks cost a bit more as well because of visual and uh, hydro, and then you have to use uh, anti-rust uh, 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 fill on them so they don't rust, a variety of things. Aluminum tanks are pretty straightforward. And uh, thirdly, aluminum tanks for a recreational diver are exactly the right buoyancy. Okay, aluminum tanks, when they're filled with air, are five, five pounds negative, roughly five pounds negative. Uh, that's about right. At the beginning of the dive, you, you want to descend. You want to go down. I understand how that works. I don't need a picture here, I hope. Uh, at the end of the dive, when your tank is almost empty, the tank is positive, or basically it's neutral. It doesn't really float, but it's neutral, which is perfect. It's the end of the dive. You don't want to be at the surface. You want to be able to stay in the surface. So the buoyancy characteristics are almost perfect. And size-wise, an aluminum tank at 80 cubic feet, standard, uh, holds about an hour's air for an average diver. It depends a lot on what you're doing and the depth and so on. But So there's several reasons why the aluminum tank is perfect for you. I didn't say it's the best. If you are a technical diver, if you intend to get into technical diving, be it caving, or deep diving, or, or any of the other, and there's several different aspects of technical diving now, uh, then, then you should consider a steel tank. A steel tank has several advantages for technical diving. Buoyancy characteristics is just one of them. Steel tank, by its very nature, is negative. And if you have a steel tank on, then you may not need to wear as many weights, and technical divers don't want any more weights than absolutely necessary. So it suits their type of diving. Technical divers tend to dive horizontally all the time. They never leave horizontal into caves or shipwrecks or everything else. Very seldom are they swimming along looking at pretty fish and taking pictures. All largely horizontal. So the steel tank for them works really, really well. It takes a little bit of extra care to make a steel tank last a long time and be safe. That's fine. Technical divers by their nature tend to be more technical. That makes sense, doesn't it? They tend to be a little more fastidious, more caring about their equipment, what type of equipment, and they take care of it a bit better. Not that recreational divers don't, but recreational divers they have a whole lot of fun. They don't want to spend days and days just taking care of the gear. So there's many, many reasons why a steel tank, and there's other reasons as well, air capacity and, and a variety of other things, why a steel tank is the best idea probably for a technical diver, someone interested in that aspect of the sport. So you guys have been asking me, and I've seen all kinds of questions. I see them on all kinds of scuba forums. I'm buying my first tank. Should I buy an aluminum? or steel? 
Not a straightforward yes or no. Oh, be careful. If someone says, oh, buy steel, ask them why and see if they have good reasons. Maybe they're in the technical diving. It makes sense. If someone says, oh, no, I'll get an aluminum tank. They don't question it's much better than a steel tank. Ask them why and see if you can't find out what is best for you because it's always what is best for you. I don't know if that helps or not. Maybe it makes it more confusing. But you see what I'm saying? The best tank, steel or aluminum, is what's best for you. Okay, guys, you take care. Have a good time. Be careful. I will see you soon. Alec Pierce, Tech Tips.